This is very exciting tutorial about Lumion 10 and lighting. Today we are talking about multi-pass rendering and how to editing with Photoshop. What are the advantage of using multi-pass, Photoshop and multiple rendering methods? Now I am going to download model from direct web. Go to Google then go to 3D warehouse we can go to the 3D warehouse models. Search Lumion 9 you can download Lumion 9, sample project. You can open it from SketchUp then you can start it from a live synchronizer or import to Lumion. Have to adjust the height and, and other things. I am using this method. But if you want to use export to the 3D model, and then after you can import directly to the Lumion. Now I am going to add materials, Ketchup standard material are not good for this. Then I wish to like new material from the Lumion library, especially glass material you have apply very high reflection. I will show you how to control the reflection. Now I add grass material love you can show better image. Now, I am adding trees to the surface. I am using paint tool for painting models, details trees in Lumion 10 very good for near areas. Make a camera view. No matter film camera or a still camera you can render the image from any camera. Now I load a file from my previous saved effects, LME file. And now file loaded you can see effects are loaded. Now you can see I am going to edit reflection control, because reflection, control plan very important for reflection. Reflection editing control part is done, now we are going to, to save multiple images you can see there are available several passes, I'm use this time, specular and lighting passes. But you can use any of passes depends on your requirement, more tutorials are available in Google you can search. Now loading 4 images, you can see light and specular pass also, I got colored pass first, now I'm editing images like this. Shadows, highlights and reflections you can control very easily.
After that you can save image as a PSD or a JPG. Now we are moving to Lightroom editing, I loaded this file you can very easily adjust lighting control like this, and if you want to highlight any area it is very easy with Lightroom. After that you can finalize this image, we can adjust brightness temperature like DSLR camera, now you can finish this export as a JPG image. Thank you for watching www.arc3vis.com